Hello and welcome back to the Black Death. Today I thought I'd tell you about the Renown system in the game. Renown is required for you to change your profession in this patch. So for instance for the Doctor you need 75 Renown, for the Peasant you need 15 and so on and so forth. For the Knight then you need 250 which I'm currently at, and then last for the royal, you need a thousand. You will still need to, however, get the necessary levels. So, for instance, to unlock the peasant, you will still have to have level five in peasantry. However, now you, as a bonus, also need to have now. However, the good thing about uh, the good thing about it is that you no longer need to kill yourself to change your profession you only have to click on your portrait to change it there. Now talking about renown there are two ways currently of obtaining renown. One is to go into the infected zone and destroy these infected cards. And then you will get some renown from them. Uh, I won't get twenty renown as it says there. It's a little bit wrong but it's about twenty. As you can see, 21. And the second way to get renown is to kill infected NPCs. Usually, NPCs in the zone will be infected, but for some reason, this Templar isn't. Maybe the Templars uh, don't have an infected model. So, um, I'll see whether I can find an infected somewhere else and get back to you as I found one. Alright, I haven't been able to find an NPC, however, I have found infected wildlife. That is one of the new things that have been added as well. Now, wildlife can also be infected, like these boars. Still, they still have the X uh, above them to show that they are infected. And as you can see, it also gives me an indication of how much I will get from them. And in this case, it is usually quite accurate, I have found. Um, what you will have to take into consideration is that you can no longer find infected people or animals all over the world. Rather, they are either in the zone or somewhere where the zone has recently passed through. And so you will when you find infected you will find them bunched up but uh, usually if there are no infected um, you won't find any other infected near them so it's not just based on a random system it's more that there are infected groups together so you might have to venture into the zone to actually find infected Once you've reached those uh, 1,000 reputation points and you've gotten 10 points in all professions, you will be able to unlock the royalty. And royalty gives you the bonus of getting double renown and also giving you access to the kingdom table, which allows you to make special weapons and armor only available to the royalty. Currently, as far as I'm aware, there's only a royal pole arm which you can make as royalty. I'll try to do a bit on royalty in the next video as soon as I've got the levels to unlock the kingdom table. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you in the next